It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hi, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's nice to be here. Okay, now, from what I understand, you were born in New York, but you lived in Germany from the time you were two months old till you were about 10. And then when you moved back to the U.S., you didn't know any English. Now, what was it like transitioning to what was, for you at the time, a new country and a new language? Wow, what a what a what a hard opening question! I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be. How, how are you? And <laughs> and uh, and how's your summer going? That that's the one I was prepared for. Um, I I think that it was mostly uh, just panic, uh, just utter panic, because um, I just didn't. I I knew I knew the words that I knew were were yes, n yes, no. Uh, and I don't know why I knew these words, but uh, uh, yes, no, orange, chest of drawers, uh, and 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 shut up, which is right, which is wow. which is what I was, which at that time was what I, what one is just never allowed to say. That was just off the charts bad, um, and it was it was kind of sink or swim. So it was, I think, uh, like I said, just a, a bit of a, a panicked existence until I caught. On a little bit, and I actually just watched my uh, I just watched my uh, our oldest son play kickball, which brought back my first experience with kickball uh, and my uh, well, entire fourth grade class screaming at me in a language that I didn't understand, trying to explain this unbelievably complicated game. So Aww. panic. <laughs> Now, have you gotten a chance to speak German in any of your TV or film roles? I, I uh, let me let me think. I have. There was there was the episode there was the episode where where we went to the uh, to, where we went to the Oktoberfest and I and I can't remember what the line was, but I but I got to say something to a waiter, um, and then. There was uh, a play that I did in uh, in that was that was actually my, my first time on Broadway um, in two thousand and one. I did a, a show called Judgment at Nuremberg, um, mm -hmm. and uh, where I play a, a, a German uh, German lawyer at the Nuremberg trials. Uh, and uh, there was there was a good bit of a good bit of German in there, so that was quite something. Oh, that's awesome! Well. Now I know what work of yours that I can revisit. Hopefully, someone has some kind of video on it. Yeah, that was. I think that was back. In, that was back in the day before the. It was certainly. Yeah, I think I, I. I actually looked for it and haven't been able to find it. So if you find it, tell me because I'd love to see it too. Yeah, definitely. Now I read somewhere that you used to teach English mm. as a second language, and then you also worked for Vanity Fair. Now, what inspired you to go in, to later go into acting? Uh, well, I it, it was it was more that uh, that I was I was I was acting, and then I took a break. I, or I acted in in high school, I acted in college, and then I ended up. Uh, and then right after college, I thought, all right, now it's time to get serious. What do you want to do with your life? And so I went into teaching, um, and then. At the end of the, t I taught for two years. I taught for two years here in the Bronx, and at the end of those two years, I actually did a show way, way, way downtown in New York. So I would go from my teaching job in the Bronx, which is north, uh, all the all the way downtown by subway uh, to the East Village, and and did a show there, uh, and then back up to the Bronx the next morning, and then I finished teaching and thought, all right, now what do I do with my life? And um, then I went to work for uh, went to work for Vanity Fair. I was a fact checker. And then finally, after that, said, all right, I think it's time. And then kind of pieced together drama school in New York uh, and got a job on a soap. That was my first gig. Uh, and it's been yeah. uh, and it's, it's been going Guiding since light. then. Awesome. Well, fortunately, you did go into acting because that later led to some really great characters, one including Charles Brooks from Younger on TV Land. Uh, you play Liza's uh. boyfriend. And uh, 
as we all know, this show was created by Darren Starr, who you've actually worked with before on Sex in the City, uh, the episode called Hops Given a Week. I, I, ju I, just, I just saw that episode again, and uh, it's just, it's incredible. It's, it, you know, you look at old photographs, and you go, oh, my yeah. God, I was so young. And uh, it was, yeah, no, it was fun to see. It was fun to see, and, 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 and a really great long relationship with Darren, so who's just incredible. You know what? I loved your hair in that episode. You, <laughs> there was a lot of so hair. <laughs> and also, my I, I looked. Uh, I I think the episode, the first episode that I did on SVU, where I actually met Mariska, um, the yeah. uh, there was a lot of hair there too. So I have, <laughs> I have the summer cut now. The 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 slightly uh, yeah the breezier summer cut. So yeah. <laughs> Now, your character, Charles, with Eliza, oh my goodness. Now, in your opinion, what do you think or what do you hope will become of Charles and Liza? I mean, do you think they're better together or apart? You know, I, I think that one of the really, I think that one of the really beautiful things about the show, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the beautiful things, uh, uh, I think, is that you just... You just root for Liza. You cannot help but root for this person, which is yeah. which has everything to do with the person that Sutton is and and everything that she brings to this character. So um, I think that it's I think that partially because just as a person in the world, I just yeah. wish her wish the best for her. I also really in the world of the show, wish the best for her character. Uh, mm -hmm. And and I, I very much hope that that involves uh, Charles. Yeah. I've, 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 yeah, I, I, I deeply, <laughs> deeply hope that they can find, um, they have, I think that on the show, they have these moments of, of being together and, and, and Sutton and I laugh because it's always, it's usually in my kitchen. In my kitchen in the townhouse, <laughs> and it's uh, and and if we get if we can get into the kitchen, things are okay. We never argue in the kitchen. There are never problems in the kitchen. And there are these moments. There are these domestic moments where you see these two people um, just together. Uh, and I and I and I uh, for for both of them, I, I I wish that they would just find their way to that a way of of just being together. Okay, now one last question before we run out of time, and uh, this one's for your fans out there. What is your idea of a romantic first date? Wow, what is my idea of a romantic first date? Um, what's my idea of a romantic first date? I, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I. I think that the, I think a lot of talking. Um, I think a lot of, a lot of, um, Mershka and I used to, Mershka and I just walked. We walked forever. And it's, it's, uh, it's it, when the, when the seat, when, when it goes from spring to summer and it gets warm, we always look at each other and we go, yeah, this is our walking weather. We just walked and walked and walked. It's a good day. Well, wonderful work. And again, thank you so much, Peter, for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you, Lori, so much. Nice to meet you like this. Yeah. <laughs> for more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.